Welcome back to the Soundation. This is Sway Tovin. You shouldn't have to pay for a mixing mastering class. As I am learning, you will learn. This is so fun. Beat making is not enough. The power of these sounds is what we can find and build a new uh, Soundation, a foundation upon. That's what I truly believe. And in this video, I've been having a lot of fun using Saturn 2, a filter by Fab Filter. It's a saturation filter. And, you know, I like this lo fi filter, so that's what we're going to talk about. And you can like like you can apply this concept to a lot of different things. I just want you to understand that. And then we're going to just like get into like just slight automation. Now I've talked about automation earlier in my channels because automation is so powerful. It is so fun. And it's just like it's probably intimidating at first, it's because it's just like, but how can it be intimidating when you don't even have to do it? Right? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what we're going to use for the sounds in this example is just a simple guitar and a hi-hat and you can just get these sounds yourself i forgot where i got this metro boom and hi-hat from but this guitar is classic gtr light it's a free um guitar you can just download it by quiet music and it's the egal preset because this one has a more celestial sound to it that we are going to hear in a second i suppose we can hear it right now It might have been hard to hear, hopefully not, but there was a little bit of an echo. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Because the snare also shares something with that echo. And it kind of is the fact that they resonate at this higher frequency if we were to look at it in a parametric EQ. So we can just open up a parametric EQ real quick. They'd be up here in the higher frequencies. I'd say the guitar noise is probably somewhere down here. But that's okay. It's because somewhere in Saturn, it can pick that up. So if we look in Saturn, we're going to see that there are three different bands. All right, band one, uh, band two, and band three. And this button right here changes their level, which means it's how loud it is. All right, and band three is frequencies most likely through. We can look at it through correlation of a uh, EQ. Let's just say around 1k to 10k maybe mid band is 2 to 1 and low band is um 20 to 2 all right just about might be a little bit wrong it's probably number somewhere it doesn't really matter but here's the thing now i want to add a lo-fi effect to this guitar and the snare now i can add this plugin to both of them or i can put this plugin in its own instrument track which i did all right it's an instrument track one the guitar is already in another instrument track and the snare is all the way, way down here in instrument track 12 and they are both routed to instrument track one they do not need to be routed to the master all right because not because the not only is the instrument track one routed to the master if it was routed to the master you would hear both those noises and if you were to decrease the volume of instrument track one you would then hear still the guitar playing so let's play that right now let's play the guitar real quick the guitar is playing it's linked to the instrument track and is linked to the instrument track that has the filter on it right but let's turn down the filter the guitar is still going to play all right if we were to unlink the guitar from the master and then turn down the track that it was linked to you will not hear the guitar unless we turn it up all right so it's really just volume when it comes to this routing down there and if you were to side chain the side chaining also kind of does a similar effect i believe it's more so like an effect type of chaining um i know a little bit about side chaining when it comes to certain things i do it from time to time but we're not talking about that right now um but yes, they are both routed straight here. So if I were to turn this down, both the snare and the guitar were to turn down if that's the desired effect that you want. But that's not what we're aiming for here, all right? Because like I've already said multiple times, they both resonate at this higher frequency in the band, all right? So when we hear them pass through there in the Saturn filter, let's listen to it. It's nothing crazy. But let's mute this snare. Let's listen to the guitar. And let's say I want to raise that echo. Did you hear how wide it got? 
like a breath of fresh air. Alright. The thing is, is that the snare also got like that because it's linked, it's also in that higher frequency. Now we hear the muffle because I turned it down. But, as the motorcycle goes outside, if we were to turn the band one up, we get that bass. So we don't lose too much of the like integrity of the structure, all right? Maybe the mid band. You hear that? Now it sounds like you're talking on the phone, an old recording. But a strong equilibrium of these sounds will really bring some sort of like depth, all right, to the noise, all right? But the problem is just that you do not want to keep on changing these, all right? And there's a lot of other settings when we see this, like, you're probably going to ask my hair, what does this mean? I think at face value, you can choose a preset that you want to go to, like lo-fi, maybe guitar, if you want to have some drive, some color, you can see what you like, and then play with the bands. Because I believe at least playing with the bands, you might find what you're looking for. When it comes to like the speed and the range and all that other stuff, that's when you're trying to like really just make your own type of effect and it's totally fine. Um, but then we get into like modulation and stuff. When you understand modulation when it comes to making a noise, you'll understand it. Um, like, you know, the more things change, the more they really stay the same. All right. But there you go. But we're not done. Let's say I want to add some sort of intro effect. I want to add some sort of something that it flourishes. All right. Well, we've talked about how to make automations in previous videos where it talked about Omnisphere not having the ability to just right click and make an automation clip. And it seems as though I cannot make an automation clip from these bands, which is interesting. I can't right click that. Now, I already know that I can go to my tools and I can go to my last tweaked. Fab, filter, Saturn 2, insert one, band three level, I can then create an animation clip. But if I move this, I also see that the knob down there changes. I can right click that. I can create an automation clip of that right there. And then there you go. Now, automation clip is created. It would be important for me to actually put the song in here, right? Now, what I'm going to do is stretch it for as long as the song is. And this is the band three. So, what I'm also going to do, because I just want to have more control over both the sounds, is, and I'm just clicking like the wrong stuff, of course I am. Dude, what the heck? I'm actually losing, oh, that's right. <laughs> losing it. Is I want to be able to automate the band one level as well. So let's create an automation clip. Now, what do we want to sound like at the beginning of the song? Maybe we want the band one to be stronger and the band three to be less strong, and then we'll just see what we sound like. That was crazy right there. I hope you don't hear that. I mean, you definitely hear that on your end. I'm still rolling with it. Okay, so hopefully we heard that automation. Um, we understand how it works. And as we can see that my CPU doesn't like this, um, but we learned something, like and subscribe for more.